Welcome to another video on Walk on the Wild Side and I am down here in Lytham, yes, just down the road from Blackpool, about 15 minutes drive, yes. I've been here before a couple of times this year. I was last here, I was last here for the Lytham Festival, which was in July, massive event. And we've got another massive event today. Yes, it's a Sunday, Sunday the 18th. That's the famous windmill there. And as I turn around, check this out. We've got the 1940s weekend. It's the second day of the 1940s weekend. A huge event here in Lydham. Everyone gets dressed up. Well, not everyone. I'm not dressed up. <laughs> well, I've got my posh shirt on for Lydham. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, you've got, to, you've got to dress posh when you come down here because Lydham is very, very posh. Yes, very, very swanky. Um, so, yeah, the 1940s weekend. Um, I filmed it last year as well. What I'll do is, we'll come back to this a bit later. I'll take a look around the town. There's loads of people in town, thousands. It's just like the Lytham Festival all over again. And we've got some nice weather for it. We've had some good weather for it this year as well. So let's, we'll take a little look at this and then we'll go through the town and then we'll come back to this a bit later on. Look at this, look at these old wartime vehicles here, look. I wonder how much those are worth. Must take some doing to keep them in, in good order as well. Look at, look at that there, loads of tents, people dressed up as well, get dressed up for the occasion. Six Airborne Division. There's plenty to see here at the 1940s weekend. They even do a battle reenactment. I'm not going to film that today, but I did film it in my last video from last year so I'll probably put a link to that so what we'll do is I'll head down here we'll take a look through the, the main street and then we'll come back and have a little look at this a bit later on well I tell you what look at all these cars it, it's so busy here by the green look that's a massive car park over there look oh it's madness here in London right. today it feels like the festival all over again with all these people. Yeah. So let's head towards the, the main street. It's Clifton Street just up here. OK, so I'm now here at the junction. I'm on Station Road at the moment, and this is Clifton Road, which crosses here. If you want the Weatherspoons, it's just up there, the Weatherspoons. It's actually a pretty good Weatherspoons, though. It's called the Railway. Yeah. So I'll probably nip in there a bit later on. Yeah, so we're just by this church here. Check it out. This is the main dragon. It's very yeah, leafy, isn't it? It is so, so leafy here in Lytham compared to, to Blackpool. It's not Blackpool cannot compete. Yeah. Think it is. where it is, actually. It really is on a corner. So we're just by a church here. And this church, by the way, look at all these trees. Look, tree-lined street here. Look, some people are moaning about the trees, actually, because they're actually digging up the pavement a bit. And you've got locals actually moaning about the trees and probably chopping them down. Can you believe it? You don't want to be doing that. Anyway, this church here, just look at this lich gate. That is very, very impressive. That is the, one of the most impressive lich gates, I believe, in this area. Let's go underneath, shall we? Welcome to St. Peter's Church here in Lytham. And it's certainly a lot quieter in here than it is outside. Impressive. Well, I like to look in churches, you know. So we just had a quick look in that church there. St. Peter's. Rather impressive inside, isn't it? There you go, we're now back out onto the street. We've got all these shops here. So I've been to London a couple of times this year. If you want to check out the videos, the one with the festival. I also did another video about London talking about how how affluent it is compared to Blackpool. It's a completely different town to Blackpool and yet it's only 15 minutes away. You know, someone asked me the other day, they said, Stephen, said, would you ever live in Lytham? Uh, 
I don't know if he became a millionaire or something like that. Would he ever live here? Um, don't think I would actually, no. Probably just stay in Blackpool. Uh, I think I'd push, I'd go to St Anne's because St Anne's is like a buffer zone between here and Blackpool. And I think, yeah, I, and I was born in St Anne's. I was born at the old War Memorial Hospital. Check out these gardens here, aren't they? Posh gardens here, yeah, look at that. Got some cats on there, look. Yeah, so I definitely consider living in St Anne's because uh, I was born there. So busy today. That tavern has a blood and we're going for ages that way. 1942, yeah. It's been going since the Second World War and now it's closed, unfortunately. What will it become? Hopefully not a kebab shop or a vape store or a Turkish pub. <laughs> uh, this is Wheelings, Wheelings Fish and Chip Restaurant. Oh, yes. They love Wheelings here. I know people that come from all over the place to go to Wheelings. Yeah. Very, very popular fish and chip restaurant. Just a bit, we've got a seniors. I think seniors is a bit of a dirty word around here. <laughs> As you can see, there's loads of people around and they have got quite a lot of independent shops as well. Got a chocolate shop over there, look. Got a lot of charity shops as well. Lots of cafes. This one's... What's this one here? This is... Uh, Taste of Italy. In Lidham. Doing really well. Got the awning as well. Check out the awning. Like I say, they've got loads of charity shops as well. I actually love looking around charity shops, and I reckon here in Lidham, it's got to be one of the best places to look inside charity shops. You're going to get better stuff, I reckon, here than you do in Blackpool. What do you think? Let me know if you if you like looking around charity shops. I love it. This is really good. Sticky Chocolate Limited here in Rhythm. Check them out. They do some pretty awesome stuff. Look at this here, look. Ooh, look at those cookies. 1940s weekend special. Bernardo's. There, we're, we're getting close to the square. This pub here is called the Ship and Royal. It's massive the size of that building there look so I can hear some music going on up here I think they're doing some dancing in the square so let's uh, head over there shall we this is where all the swanky restaurants are all around here we've got Deacon on the corner I mentioned that in my last video I think it used to be a bank William Deacon this building here got a picture express there as well this is the main square in Lydon oh Loads of people sat outside. Let's just film a little bit of this, shall we? Yes, it just sort of happened, more or less that way. some idea of property price as well here you go <laughs> over two million check it out they're not all that price but you can get cheaper than that <laughs> there's one down there for 2.1 million whoa that's a bargain that is so we'll head over to 1940s weekend on the green in a minute i just want to show you something over here just the other side of the square there's a nice little area, nice little park area. I want to show you that. 
Yeah, so I just wanted to show you this area over here. Got some swanky restaurants here. We've got Zest here. This is very popular. Look at that there, Zest. Look at all these people sat outside. They're doing really well today. But I wanted to show you this area here. We've got this nice little park and it's not very big. It's not very big. And it's in front of a, I'm not sure what that used to be. It's a bridal suite place now. It's a, an old building. Looks a bit like an old town hall or something. But, um, got all these people selling them. Paintings and, look at that. But this park is so nice. I was watching Spicer's video. I'll put a link in the description. And he came in here the other day and I thought, wow, this is so nice. We could have something like this in Blackpool, couldn't we? And it's not a very big area, look. Just look at these flowers, aren't they amazing? It wouldn't take a lot to look after. The only thing is, is, could you imagine something like this in Blackpool Town Centre? I think it would get trashed, what do you think? I've got a funny feeling that the beer monsters might uh, make a bit of a mess of it. Let me know what you think. Yeah, so we've got this old building here. I'm not quite sure, not quite sure what it used to be, but it's a nice old building. I'm going to head over to the green now and we'll check out the 1940s weekend. Okay, so we're heading back to the green again. I think this place used to be the Capri Grill bit. It's now called Northern Monkey. So, there's a house for sale there, Ludden Estate Agents. I wonder how much that house is going for. So, I think that, did that used to be the swimming baths over there? Someone mentioned on my last video it used to be the swimming baths, is that right? The old assembly rooms, the dates on the top there, MCNXXV11. I can't decipher that at the moment. Oh, I think we've got the parade on, let's have a look. Oh, the parade's on, look at all these people up here. Let's get a bit of the parade, shall we? So we've just got a bit of the parade there. If you want to see the full parade, watch the video I did last year because I actually got the full parade. We've got Winston Churchill leading it at the start. So that's, I've just met some fans from Scotland and they were absolutely thrilled to see me. <laughs> so hi to you, a couple from Scotland. I didn't, I didn't get the names, but uh, if you're watching this video, hi to you. I couldn't believe they saw me here in London because <laughs> the big fans of Blackpool. <laughs> You'd normally expect to run into me in Blackpool, not in London. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, we've got some old cars here. We'll have a quick look round here. Have a quick look, a quick feel for the, the 1940s weekend. That's what this video is all about. It's not going to be an in-depth video or anything like that. You can always look at the one I did last year. Yeah, this event is absolutely massive. Oh, we've got the parade going round. Oh, Winston Churchill, I've missed him. I've missed him. Oh no, I can see him over there on a Jeep. Sorry folks, I've missed him. You can see him. I might run into him yet, but you can see him on last year's video. Uh, yeah, let's turn the camera around. That's the Clifton Arms Hotel, by the way. A very, very swanky hotel here in Lyndon. You're doing well if you can stay at the Clifton Arms Hotel. So we've got the parade going round again. We go around twice, I believe. Yeah, they don't close off the road for this, by the way. Normal traffic is still using this road, as you can see. All these old vehicles, wow. <laughs> right, so we just had the second parade go for it. Just outside the Clifford Arms, we've got a bit of a 
a barbecue going on here, look. Check it out. They were doing this during the festival as well, yeah. The Clifton Arms Hotel. Well, I got him this down, there he is, the man. Winston, there he is. Well, I got in that time because the parade actually went round three times. They go all the way down the main road here and they also go right down that main road that I just walked down before in the town. So everybody gets a chance to see them. So there you go. And uh, let's check out the, uh, the what we've got going on here. So we'll just have a quick look through here. This is where a lot of the vehicles are that are on the parade. Just on the, we're on the estuary here, the Ribble Estuary. I'll just show you where we are, down here at Lydon. That's the Ribble Estuary over there. You can see Southport over there. Look at them, yeah, so looking over that way is Southport over there, yeah. And uh, that river runs through Preston, of course. They haven't really got a beach as such here in Lydon, but they do have one in St. Anne's. It's a massive beach in St. Anne's. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. Look at this here, that looks like a bit fire, is it? Got a Rolls Royce engine up there. Look, look, look. Wow. Look at that. It's been partly stripped so you can see what it's like inside. There you go, Z3174 if you're interested. That's the Blackpool Fire Brigade there. Check this out there, look. Nice old fire engine that, isn't it? I wonder if it really was the Blackpool Fire Brigade engine. Could be. Here's a bit of history on Lydon for you. If you want to freeze the video, you can check it out. It goes back to about the 1830s. Yeah, a bit later than Blackpool. We've got loads and loads of stalls here. We've got Discover File just over there. We've got a lot of old cars just here. I included those in my last video. So, yeah. There's a massive marquee over here where there's somebody singing inside. Yeah, it's all going on here at the 1940s weekend in Lydham. Big here for coffee. We've also got Lydham Gin here. And uh, just over there, we've got that Sticky Handmade Company. That's the one that's got the shop. They've got one in Blackpool as well on the promenade, just sort of opposite the central pier. If you want to check it out, they are really good. So this is where all the food outlets are right here. Just over there is the Queen's Hotel. Very, very busy and they all get dressed for the occasion in there as well I went in there not last year but the year before yeah very popular here on the main drag check it out they've got a big wheel it's amazing what they can do isn't it what they can build for these traveling fun fairs and uh, I'm almost back to where I started just here we've got some military vehicles we've got a field gun here and just over this section here from here to the windmill 
is the, where they do the battle reenactment. I'm not going to film it in this video, but if you want to see that, see a bit of it, you can watch the video I did last year. So this is where they do the, it's actually the, later on when they do that, this is going to be absolutely stuck with people all watching this battle reenactment right here on Living Green 1940s weekend. So there you go, that was 1940s weekend here in Lytham. I mixed it up a little bit by showing you what was going on in the town, a little bit different to last year. If you want to see more, you can always check out the video I did last year, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one.